just almost like a perfect movie. Definitely <laughs> an essential. One particular thing about this movie that that always strikes you? Well, you know, certainly in watching it this time, I was I, I was very aware of the fact that it, it is the character study, but there are three separate voices, the three main characters. And they're almost like the three voices that all that people have inside themselves. There's this one voice that says, you're a loser, sit down, shut up, don't try anything new, don't push your envelope. Then there's this voice inside of you that says, go, you can do it, you can fly, trust yourself. And then there's the third voice, which is the Paul Newman character that stands in the middle listening to these two voices and is constantly torn between, I'm a loser and I can do this, I need to get better, I need to get better. And Piper Laurie, for instance, is so wonderful in in this quiet her voice how she sounds this quiet support system that says you can get better you can you don't need to listen to the loser voice you're better than that you're better than that and and of course ultimately that she kills herself is just it, it it's almost like a you know a psychological study of of this of the loser voice killing off the mm -hmm. voice inside that says you know, try for more. You right. Know? She's devastating in it. She's I think. devastating in it. Yeah. All the, of the performances in this are s just so good, right. including Jackie Gleason. Never uh, better. Who is just wonderful yeah. in it. Um, I, I, did, I did work with uh, Jackie Gleason. Of course once. you did. I did, and in Smoking the Bandit. Yes. Um, and he, he was absolutely stupendous fellow. He would come on the set early, and uh, when we weren't in the car, we were usually in the car and driving off somewhere, but he would sit in his chair um, with his cup of something. I. Cocoa. I, yes. <laughs> I think it was probably cocoa, yes. Uh -huh. Or, you know, there's who put orange juice in my orange juice kind right. of thing. Um, he was just a, a great guy. Bigger than life, certainly. Bigger than life. Yeah. I wish I, I, I'd had a scene with him. Uh-huh. We should also point out that this is one of the many films for which Paul Newman was nominated for an Academy Award. Uh -huh. He didn't win, but he did win his first Oscar for the sequel to this, The Color of Money. Yes. Directed by Martin Scorsese. Yes. Yes. So you're going to be here next week, right? Uh, you guarantee yes. that you'll be back here? I do guarantee in that, that chair. in this very chair. Okay. Well, uh, you said it now. I you did. have to do it. You okay. can hold me to it. So please join Sally and me again next week as we bring you another essential film. Here's a preview of it. The Wind, 1928. This film came at a time when men and women were still inventing the movie industry. Lillian Gish was really the pioneer for what acting on film is all about. Even though there's no dialogue, so much is said by expressions in the face. It's an extraordinary film and everyone should see The Wind, it's exquisite. From 1928, The Wind. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at tcm.com slash essentials. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Matador Mel Ferrer must regain his confidence in the brave bulls. Then Broderick Crawford dupes his voters in All the King's Men. And Carl Malden's a savvy crime solver in The Cat of Nine Tales.